Hey everybody, um, this is Tanya. I am coming back to share with you um, an idea I had for my design team project for Shabby Dabby Doodah. And I am using her papers called um, Nostalgia. And I mean, they are really, really pretty and girly and um, shabby chic and they're just really, really pretty. I printed mine out on um, 110 pound uh, cream cardstock from, um, I got the cardstock from Walmart. So it was like $3 or something like that, but they came out really, really pretty. And then she has a lot of um, different tags that you can use into it. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to make something really simple and something that you can like make within like a day. So I have, you know, some paper bags from, I don't know where I got these from. I think I, I, think I got these from the Dollar Tree. And I seen that um, it's called a uh, dose a dose, I believe. If I'm correct me if I'm wrong, but it's where um, you have two spines. Um, and so I was thinking about putting something right here and right here. So what it does is you open it up like this, and you have a spine, and you have your papers right there, and then <clears throat> you can have papers right here, and then you have papers right here, and it closes like this. So how I did that was I just took three of these paper bags. Okay. And um, so I'm going to pull it out like this so I can see. So, and so you can see. Okay. So first things first, we're going to fold this one like this. Let's see if I can move that out of the way. Okay. We're going to fold this one like that. So that'll be the front. Then you're going to fold this one like this. And then we're going to use the bone folder to make it all, you know, flat and everything like this. And I mean, you could cut some of it off if you wanted to, you know, the excess if you wanted to. But, um doesn't really bother me okay so you have one like this and one like that and then the other one we're gonna fold just like this one so we're gonna fold that one like that okay so you see all the different folds right okay so we are going to put this one into here uh -oh. Like that. Make sure it's straight. All the way down. Mm -hmm. You just fit it in there. All the way up into your crease line. See? Like that. Okay. Sure, everything is neat and tidy. Sorry. Um, okay. So you have that part like that. Then I'm gonna fold this part like this, and then this one is gonna go like this. So you're just making an M. Really, really easy. Okay. Okay. And everything is in like that. Pretty easy. Now. Okay. So you have when it opens, and we're going to fix all this so you know fix everything up and fix it so um when it opens opens up like this and you know how i feel about leaving stuff open by by the spine so 
we will close that one and we will leave this one open and we'll have this and then in the back you'll have it like this and you can leave this one open and close this so I'm going to seal everything up and use my bone folder and make sure everything is really flat and creased and um, <clears throat> seal where I don't want pockets and where I do want pockets. I'm probably going to use um, Fabri-Tac for this. Uh, it's just a little bit easier. I was going to use score tape, but I think I'm going to use Fabri-Tac. So this is the shape we have, just like that. Okay, and I'm going to come back. And the reason why I'm not showing me pressing it down and gluing it all together because the camera will shake really really bad so hope you guys understand Okay, guys, um, it is approximately blah, 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 Okay, guys, if you hear it, it is raining. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is why it is so um, cloudy today. But anyway, so I cut out all my pieces, and these are from a paper pad that I had. So those are the main pages, are, are the cover and the back. This one is from the kit. 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 And I just cut out pages from the kit that I liked. And um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit everything onto... Um, that was upside down. I'm going to fit everything onto um, the pages like I want to. I don't know if I want to glue everything down just yet because... I'm trying to decide if I want to put, um, you know, like pockets or any flips or anything like that on these. So I'm thinking of what we're going to do is we're going to put, we're just going to make some pockets out of the scrap pieces that we have left over um, from cutting down. And I know she has pockets, she has pockets with the kit and everything like that, but um, I didn't want to resize them and everything like that. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, a scrap page um, that I cut down and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger like this so that you have that flap and that you'll be able to um, put more things into the pockets. So I'm just going to cut it down to about right here. I'm going to trace that right that. And then so then you'll score it like right there. And then you score this one. And that way you will have a, a little gusset, I guess that's what it's called, um, to put more things in. And then you just cut it off 
measure it, cut it off, and then angle it. I'll show you when I'm when I get there. Okay, so we covered the inside um, and then we put a pocket right here and I put this right here. And then, so this part, what I think I'm gonna do is, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add um, slide pockets, you know, so you'll be able to slide, uh, just slide little things in there, nothing big. Um, and you just cut, I just cut off pieces of, um, well, these were scrap pieces, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it like this. But before I do that, you know, I'm going to add the um, fabric to the spine. Um, and I am going to go with this. It matches really good, and I like the tatter tattered edge. So all I'm going to do is cut and rip. And um, I'm not going to use Fabri-Tac because um, it seeps through when it's so thin. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use score tape and I'm going to line this like right here, right here and right here with score tape. And I'm just going to press this down really, really easy. Cut it to the size and press it down. Okay guys, it's all covered and inked up. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do next is I am going to add the uh, piece like I told you I was going to add. We're going to add this piece like this. And all we're going to do is just fit it. And I don't think I want it that big, so um, we'll just cut it in half or you know, like right here, we'll cut it right here. You can see that. And then we'll just do it like this. Really, really easy. And we'll do, we'll make two of these. And I'm just using, um, I'm sorry, I'm just using cardstock, brown craft color cardstock. And um, we're gonna put one right here and we're gonna put one right here. So they can meet and they can, they'll be a bit of close.
Okay. Um, we're going to decorate. Um, but what I wanted to do first, um, I wanted to put like a photo because she has these photos in her thing. And I wanted to um, put them like right here and right here. And um, I want them to be removable because, you know, like whoever gets it or um, if you don't want, you know, you want them to be able to put their own photo there. So what I did was um, I don't have any photo corners, guys. So we're going to make our own. Um, I just took a strip of the piece of craft color cardstock that I had left over and I just literally just took it and cut it at an angle like this. Can you see that? Like that. So now you have one more and then you just do it again. Like that. And then we're going to ink them up as dark as we can. So to make it look really um, leathery. So we're gonna ink them up really quick. Okay, as you can see, I have um, inked up my little corners, my fo photo corners, and I've used this one from the kit, this picture. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take my glue and put a thin strip of glue right there on each one of them so that you'll be able to tuck your photo in and pull it out and you can switch the photos in and out. Okay, see, it looks so cute, right? I thought it looked really cute. Okay, so I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is do that on to um, this page, but I might just put this one right here because um, I like that one. And then um, after we do that, what we're gonna do is we are going to pick out pages for the inside. Now, in order, okay, so we are right here and you can see how you can pull it out and they look so cute, right? And we have a pocket and then we have this pocket and then you open it and you have these pockets right here, okay? Now, what I decided to do um, was um, I have two papers from the kit. And so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is make a little notebook and put this one right here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put this one right here and go like this. And then I'm gonna put the other one right here. And I am going to use, I have some, a whole bunch of papers, guys. I have just some vintage papers and I have uh, like an old like prayer book with hymns and stuff like that, but that would be appropriate. And just some sheet music and this was the um, paper that I was talking about. So we're gonna make a little notebook and we are gonna put that together. I also have um, a lot of, um, I pulled out a lot of little scraps of fabric because I want to sew some ruffles onto the um, notebook. And I pulled out, uh, it was like a lot of stuff, guys. So I pulled out a lot of things that I can layer with. This is a vintage postcard from 1907. This is just a vintage little card I thought I'd match. This is from the kit. Then we have some rice paper that we're going to layer with. And these are from the kit. Um, these are from a paper pad I had kit right here, you know, and then this is a paper pad. And then these right here are from Taylor Made Journals. And I bought her, I think it was Vintage Ledger. And I just used, you know, those um, one scissors that you get at Walmart. Um, these. These little scissors. I used those to cut around it. I didn't want to rip it. And so I figured that you can fold it like this and we'll be able to layer um, all this stuff onto the um, into the notebooks or onto the pages. So that is my thinking. 
So I'm going to show you how to put the notebook together, even though I know um, you guys know how to do that. I'm just going to, all we're going to do um, is we're going to just measure it like this. And um, I'm going to do it right here. Mm -hmm. And make sure it is straight. And just do it like that. I'm sorry, do it like, this is all I did was just draw a line and right up there like that. And we're going to cut each one of them down and we're going to ink up around them and we're going to add our papers. Now, since we're only using eight pages in the inside, uh, we can sew, just sew, sew it on there. The sewing machine should work so we don't have to hand stitch it. So we're going to just sew it on there. And, um... I was thinking I could just sew it in here. Originally, I wanted to do like a um, a uh, flip, you know, like a, oh, MG, what am I trying to say? Oh, I wanted to do an elastic. That's what I wanted to do originally. I don't know yet. I don't know if I want to use elastic or if I want to use a ribbon. A ribbon would be really pretty, though. Or, you know, some, you know what, we might do that. Because that, that would look really pretty coming out the side like that, wouldn't that? So we'll probably end up doing that. So I can probably do that. Yeah, okay. Okay, so all I did was fold all the papers. And remember, we're only doing eight and eight. You know, so that will give us uh, 16. And then front and back, that gives us... 32 altogether, which will be more than enough to do the 30 day um, grateful challenge. So I'm going to cut everything up and I, I don't really know if I'm going to sew it in just yet, but I'm going to cut everything up, fit it in and um, show you what I did. Okay, all of the eight pages are in the inside and they're all um, cut down and everything. Um, I have um some scraps of um just i guess i think this is a pillow case and uh, like a curtain something but anyway so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to sew them in but first i'm going to take because i only have four and four so i'm going to just randomly pick some pages and add some ruffles onto the sides of the pages and then we will be back. Okay, so I sewed uh, the ruffles on and I haven't sewed this in there yet. I'm still debating, but this is the side view. Isn't that so cute, right? It looks like a um, new Palatin ice cream, doesn't it? But anyway, it looks cute. So I'm really excited about that. So when you open it up, that is what you're going to see. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so I'm going to do the other one. And, oh, guys, you already know. I'm going to sew. I'm going to sew it down the middle. Um, and then we are going to use, we are going to use a piece of this. And we're just going to use that to bind it. And we're going to use it on the side. And we're going to use it on... Yeah, so you'll have two like little ribbon things to bind it on the side. And that's how we're going to do that. Okay, this is how it looks when it's all sewn. It looks so cute. I love it. Okay, so all I did was I took a piece of fabric. Okay, and I had to glue mine. So you see that. I could have probably sewed it, but I didn't. Um. So anyway... What I did was I just literally took this, you know, I sewed the pages, took it, and I'm going to fit it like this really, really, really tightly. And what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to mm, twist it. And then put a um, put a bead right here, and then tie it in a knot. And then I might put um, a bead at the bottom. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think that will look cute. Yeah, 
that's what we're going to do. Okay, guys, so instead of putting envelopes in this one, I decided just to make it into a, another um, writing space. So this is how it looks. And this is how it looks from the bottom, from the top, and from the side. And then this is what it looks like in the back. So, um, <clears throat> I don't know what I'm going to do with the cover. The cover is always my hardest, hardest um, decision making. So, I'm going to say that one for last. But what I did was, for the inside, um, I have some, you know, the cutter parts from the um, paper pad I was telling you about. So, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is just start layering different things and um of course everyone with the the blue and the pink and those colors are from the kit so um i think i'm just going to start layering things on here um you know how i feel about gluing things down so i probably will not glue anything down i'll probably just paper clip um most of my things i'm going to ink everything up and i'm going to start layering things down and on each page the um the uh pads or the writing places i'm just going to leave those blanks so i'm going to do the front covers of the um notebooks then um, i'm going to put stuff in the pockets um, i'm going to cover this one with something put something on this cover and of course put something in the back pocket and then do the same with the other one.
Okay, guys, time for the dreaded cover. This one is um, really hard for me. Covers are always hard for me. Um, so I was thinking, I took my um, cuddle bug and cut out a shape. And I was thinking about framing maybe this right here or right there. And then um, she has some butterflies. So I was thinking about layering the butterflies up on each other and putting it right underneath. So we'll see how that looks. And if it doesn't look good, then we'll do something else. And I'm going to take this piece and just put it right here. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay guys, I, I decided against the butterflies and I found some flowers. Um, so I'm just gonna glue these down with a hot glue gun and um, some kind of way. I don't, I don't know which way yet, but I know I'm gonna use them and I'm gonna use the beads so they'll be sticking out some type of way. And then um, we'll be done. So this is what it looks like, and this is what it looks like from the side, and the top, and the back, and we open it up. And it looks like this, and then of course you got your little notebook. And then another one. And you got your back page. And then, hold on, I'm gonna move that out of the way before I scald myself to death. And then you open it up like this, and you just have another little um, pad and another little thing guys that is so cricket i'm gonna take that off and do that again i don't even like that but it's okay <clears throat> so what i was thinking that you can do with these and um i deleted the footage i was thinking you could make little gifts um and uh do like a 30-day grateful challenge because it has enough pages to be um to do it so what i was gonna do um i was gonna 
print out um, a 30-day grateful challenge. I, there's one on Pinterest, and every day you find something to be grateful for. So I was going to put that in the inside right here. And then you can just write um, on the pages what you're grateful for. And that would be a really, really cute idea and a really, really cute gift, right? So um, let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, it is really easy, really quick. Um, only takes the afternoon. So, um, yeah, and I think it turned out really pretty. Um, I really appreciate everybody who has subscribed to me, um, everybody who watches my videos. Guys, the love is amazing, and I really, really thank you for it. Um, and I want to thank um, Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah for um, letting me be part of her design team.